Hey, I'm Aiden, Rhymes with Maiden, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a kaleidoscope lens. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit different, not as many bells and whistles, just because we are moving! So make sure that you are subscribed to see the studio reveal once everything is settled. Okay, so first thing is to look at the front of your camera lens for the diameter. It's typically symbolized as an O with a slash through it. This is gonna tell you what size adapter ring you're gonna need for your lens. Make sure the ring's size on the male side matches the size of your lens. It's easy to get them mixed up. For the actual kaleidoscope part, I used these Fractal Rave glasses. A three-pack cost about 10 bucks. Each pair had a slightly different tint, with the white ones being extra cloudy, so I'm glad that I got several so I could pick the clearest lens with the color tint that I liked. I did find clear kaleidoscope glasses with no tint, but they're expensive, and at that point you might as well just buy a designated glass kaleidoscope camera lens. You'll also need clear glue or epoxy, Carefully pop out one side of the glasses. Dab the glue around the female side of the adapter ring. You don't need too much. I definitely used too much here. Then carefully place the kaleidoscope disc onto the glue and do your best to line up the edges of the disc with the edges of the ring. I got lucky and the adapter ring that I had on hand was almost the exact same size as the kaleidoscope disc. So roughly 49 millimeters. If you get any glue on the face of the kaleidoscope piece, clean it up with a damp paper towel ASAP. Then let it dry. Now there are a few things you should keep in mind, or at least what I recommend, when using the lens. You'll want to use the slowest shutter speed you can without sacrificing clarity, and also open up your aperture as wide as it goes. This means setting it to the smallest number. I found that my autofocus actually handled focusing really well, but if your camera can't find your subject, try moving it off center, because the center tends to be a little bit muddied or blurry, or switch to manual focus mode. Genuine kaleidoscope lenses or fractal lenses that are meant for cameras can get really expensive. So if you're working on a budget or you're just trying to have a little bit of fun, this is a great way to kind of get around that expense. And that's it. It's the end of the video. If you made it this far, go ahead and hit subscribe for more DIY tutorials. Also, I'll be doing a new studio reveal slash tour soon. Uh, hopefully the movers can get my stuff to me here sooner than later. Also leave a like and then share this video with a friend. 